Hi Aisha. Hi Nisa. I'm in a bit of a pickle. I wanted some advice. I have a civil trial coming up, but my client's not actually in the UK, he's abroad. Okay, are we acting for the claimant or defendant? We're acting on behalf of the claimant. Okay, and why can't the claimant attend? The client's actually had a death in the family, he's had a bereavement and he's had to travel abroad. Okay, have you tried asking the opposition to see if they'll agree to an adjournment? Yes, I have requested an adjournment, but they refuse. Okay, have you tried asking them to see if they'll agree to the trial remotely? I've asked them for a remote trial also, um, but because they have credibility concerns, they wish to have a face-to-face in person trial. Okay, and when is the trial? The trial's actually in four days' time. Okay, this is what you need to do. Okay, so firstly, you need to file an urgent application with the court. The relevant form is an N244 form and the fee is £275. If your client is on, say, low income or is in receipt of certain benefits, you may be exempt from paying the court fee and you may be eligible for something called help with fees, so you might want to double check this. So within the application, you need to provide a witness statement with any supporting evidence outlining the reasons why your client hasn't been able to attend the trial in person. You need to provide details of any extenuating circumstances to mention the fact that there's been a bereavement, your client is actually abroad and hence why he isn't able to attend the trial in person. You can also make submissions that the court allow your client to attend the trial remotely in the event that an adjournment cannot be granted. You will then need to file this application urgently with the courts, making sure that any fee is paid. Um, you will then also need to file the application on the opposing solicitors. Okay, Fab, is it guaranteed that my client is definitely going to get an adjournment? Not exactly. It all depends on the judge and the timing of your application. You can call the courts and request that your application be heard earlier than the trial date, but it's most likely that your application will be heard on the day of the trial, given the fact that your trial is in the next few days. Your counsel will then make submissions uh, at the hearing, given the reasons why we're asking for an adjournment. The defendant solicitor will then make their submissions, leaving it ultimately up to the judge to decide. So it's all very dependent on the judge and if he takes the view that the circumstances put forward are extenuating enough to grant an adjournment, always remember it's the claimant's case to prove his absence has more sinister consequences than the defendant not attending trial. Okay, thanks for that, but what's going to happen if the judge refuses to grant the adjournment? Well, the judge may refuse to grant an adjournment under CPR 39.3. In these circumstances, the trial may proceed ahead in the absence of any party, which in your case is the claimant. So the judge could also strike out the claimant's claim and that would be the end of the matter. However, if the defendant has put forward a counterclaim and the claimant is absent, then you have the risk that the claimant's defence to that counterclaim may also be struck out. In this case, this will mean that there will be cost consequences on the claimant for failing to attend. Okay, thank you so much for that. I'll make an urgent application and I'll let you know how I get on.